Hi, I'm Doug McKinley and you're watching Adorama TV. For this episode, we'll be looking at using slow curtain, or sometimes called rear curtain sync flash photography. I find it to be a useful technique and also fun and creative too. Adorama TV presents Stay Focused with Doug McKinley. So what is it exactly? What is slow sync flash photography? Well, in a nutshell, it's when a burst of flash is used with slower shutter speeds, primarily, but not exclusively, in low light situations. Rear curtain sync tells the camera to fire the flash just before the photograph is finished exposing, thus allowing for surrounding ambient light to register on the picture or the sensor, and at the same time exposes the main subject. Although we'll be using a shoe-mounted flash, it's worth noting that some of the smaller point-and-shoots and DSLR cameras with built-in flash do have a limited slow sync capability. Okay, how it works. Basically, your camera is equipped with two shutter curtains, the front curtain and the rear curtain. These open and close to capture light in order to expose for a picture. When you're using the flash during bright daylight hours, it's not usually necessary to set your flash to the rear curtain mode. There is usually enough ambient light to expose for any backgrounds without the need for a long exposure. However, as the light fades, things start to change. Now, we need to be outside for this. Hopefully, the weather will cooperate. Keep in mind that as the light fades and shutter speeds drop, anything that moves will tend to blur. This is also the case if you try to do handheld photography. But by employing rear curtain sync on our flash units and the sometimes use of a tripod, we can still get some great and interesting pictures. So rear curtain sync flash photography is really good with scenes that have fading backgrounds or ones that are lit artificially, such as like moving cars, buses, streetlights, etc. Now you want to light your subject in a natural way so you meter for the background and then use the flash as fill but setting the flash to rear curtain sync mode in order to allow the slower shutters to allow the light to register on the picture. And then you have to adjust the flash output where necessary for either underexposing your subject or overexposing your subject. If the flash is set in front curtain, the background will most likely be underexposed. So you've got to work with the backgrounds by exposing them first and then thinking about the flash as fill in later. I would use a tripod for this and probably lenses aren't much wider than 50 mils. Once you have the flash output set, take the camera off the tripod and shoot from different positions or different angles. Experiment with different shutter speeds, different backgrounds. Personally, I like putting moving cars in the backgrounds. The results are blurred and frozen at the same time. It's really simple. Now moving subjects at night are great subjects for rear curtain sync. I'm thinking things like motorbikes and cars. Try panning your pictures, dragging your camera across your subject and firing that flash just as, you, as your subject moves out of your frame. You get some really fantastic images. Don't get into the mindset that you can only use rear curtain sync during the evening or at night. It can be done during the day. I'm thinking about inside of buildings, shrines, churches, etc. Or even if it's a bright day, you can employ the use of neutral density filters in front of your, your lens, which will bring the shutter speed down. It's very experimental. It may not always work. And finally, just remember, with these techniques, the more you experiment, the better you'll get. So that's it for me. I'm Doug McKinley for Adorama TV. Don't forget, you can subscribe to Adorama TV for more great videos. And we really want to know what you think. So send us your likes, comments, and share this video. You can also check out the Adorama Learning Center, where you'll find lots more tutorials with great tips and tricks.